I'm assuming the molds are fine. Didn't see them. Um, it's not hard to mold in this game. Uh, not usually. All right. So let's see what happens. Um, I do think, obviously, Shenzhen in general is going to want to close the gap as soon as possible. Um, obviously, advancing versus focusing doesn't super matter in the early game. They're very uh, nearly yeah, the same. Sorry, yeah, I agree. The only thing that is different is the sky gleam. Does that card do again? I always forget. It's four to eight no. range, and if all your seeds are sprouted, it becomes a three two. Uh, what about the um? I mean, the the three out card that was played. Oh, that is multiflora. Um, that's a he got a basic action and got a seed token. That's how that worked. And it, keeps, oh, okay. it prevents your opponent from moving forward, but you can't put any charge on it unless you have uh, seed tokens going. Mm -hmm. Here, let me go through. I'm really and see. Nope, yep. Immortal you said, flower. Got the immortal flower, the spreading palm. Uh, root of causality. I have mixed feelings on that card, but it'll probably work out. Especially as a spreading palm combo. Yeah, I like the... Eh, let me think about it. La, la, la. Got the sunny stage. I mean, it's either sunny stage or um, song and dance. He's not running both, is he? No? Alright. not running both, no. Um, I don't know about that. Maybe sunny stage is better? It's hard, though. It's, it's very close. I think sunny stage is a little better, though. Well, um, he's got pommel thrust instead of song and dance, I think is the idea. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. I think it's close. I mean, is he gonna? Well, it depends if he does the juice. Is he gonna juice him? And he I also he can also Jeff combo Jeff. Sunny Stage with Flail. I think that's actually an interesting play or interesting combination. What is Flail? Flail oh. gives the next enhancement card you play for Nam Megumi Megami, uh, growth two. Oh, interesting. But like, so you can use that to make it Sunny Stage disenchant. On the opponent's turn, so you can aim it. Yeah, I guess yeah, I can be sold on the fact that it's good then. I don't know, but I will agree on your third special. Um, a little unfortunate here. Um, I don't think that um, Gangin is going to be able to Immortal Flower and make any, anything crazy. Probably going to end up doing a normal attack. Also, burning Flare here really early, but it makes sense because his cards don't really like matter that much. He wants besides to the spreading palm. develop the seeds really quickly too to get the spreading palm. The max yeah, effect. so this makes sense. Uh, Shen here expected to take some damage on the way in, but yeah, definitely. Um, Shen wants to close the gap as soon as possible. Um, Gagnino you know, opting. It should just resolve, in my opinion. Our focus. Okay. Yeah, this is uh, interesting. Yeah, he's probably gonna get this as well. Um, Shen. It's not like Shen would have to like pass his turn. He's not going to. Shen doesn't seem terribly bothered by playing passively, though. So he might just take a step back here. Uh, I don't know about that. Let's see. That does not seem good. Can he just focus? He could focus A4, but like that's kind of nutty, huh? Um, that is sort of nutty. Not terrible, though, I don't think. Either way, you're, no, you're disposing of a lot of your resources, and in one case, you get to hold two cards at least. You might even be able to step forward and make an attack and step back. No, he's got to step back twice. He's got to get to R7 if he wants to avoid it most easily. Yeah, there's no way he's stepping back this turn. It's too expensive. Like, unless he steps back right now. Like, either steps back and does nothing or just goes all in. But yeah, he's just going to go in. There's no there's craziness to back up. Like, I mean, yeah, also taking one life is not the end of the world. Let's be frank there, but... Especially yeah, when, you're gonna, when you're going to hit your opponent closer. for... Or two or three life here. Yeah, as long as he closes the gap, I'm fine with it. Like, if he goes to, like, R3 and then hits it, he should go to, like, R3, right? That's where it goes. R3 and then, um... 
the striker, whatever that card is, the three one. Um, slash. Yeah, slash. I think that's what he should do. R three and then slash feels pretty good. Um, you can discard Swing Rush here. I don't think it's super good. Not going to be really helpful. Discard Swing Rush. I mean, he can't. He can't swing at R four, unfortunately. So we need to spend a bigger discard Swing Rush. Oh, he's going to opt to play it. Interesting. Not really sure why. Is he threatening Brandish? Oh, he takes it to life, so he get, doesn't get punished. So which one is he holding here? Because he needs to play one of them. So he, he played that. He didn't see Song and Dance. So you might, he play, you might play Slash so you can it. take advantage of the reaction effect on Cut Down. But when can't he can't play Slash at this range unless he advances. But yeah. Yep. Or just keep it and play the reaction when the... Uh, I forgot the name. Yeah, he might even just discard and it. And the sun is how, hands, yeah. how, return, how paranoid he is about Blight Return here. Oh yeah, that is true. Hops the yeah. hold. He just keep mean... him, will react. Oh, he's reacting to the... That's clever. I like that. That makes sense. Mm. Eh. Interesting. Um... I don't know. I don't know. I don't know how much better that is than just playing at the end of your last turn. It means that he can't do any kind of reaction to it. He can't song and dance out of the bit. I yeah okay sure yeah okay that makes it a little better than yeah. I mean, it's it, it's strictly better in that case, right? Like uh. Yeah. Yeah, yeah I agree. It's better. And now Shen have enough flare to Uranami Storm in case bombs activate the this turn. Yep. Has yeah. to take this. Doesn't have to take it. He can uh, reach the reaction. Uh, yep. The icebreaker is oh, coming. Yep. I forgot he was playing icebreaker. He plays icebreaker storm and arc. Yeah. Okay. Mm. Also really awkward here. Um, hate to see the glancing strike on top of the deck. We only have one card. It's not super good in that situation. Um, because it's gonna limit him so much now. Yeah, icebreaker there is makes sense. All right, now he's resolving. That's what I would have figured. Oh, he went down to zero bigger, so now his uh, light return is disabled. No, but he's still got. Let's say that. So I would say Shen like has a lead here, right? Um, mm, I think Shen's so... in a better position, but. He does have technically not have a life lead. Well, he's got they're they're on pair, I think, because Yagnito's going to reshuffle next turn probably. I think he a one slash using the vigor. I think seems to be his first play most likely here. Yep. Um, there's no. I mean, he's, I mean, he can play return but for what? Oh, he doesn't. Yeah, he doesn't yeah, know. It's a two one. I mean, I mean, he needs to get down to one card before he reshuffles, right? Like what? Um, no, not necessarily, because you got the Glancing Strike in your deck, so... I mean, you're not, you don't have it? to be... You don't oh. have to be crazy about your deck being even with that card, so... I guess that's true, but I mean, when else is he gonna play it? Yeah, that's fair. Alright, I guess he holds it. I mean, sure. But now we have the awkward moment where you just showed the card, and you're like, oh, oh he does take this. Okay, dude. Okay. Oh, did he take life Seems or his really... burn damage? Yeah. Hmm. No, he didn't take life. I mean, he took aura, I thought. Because he took the slash to life, and now he just took one Oh, aura. yeah, no, you're right. Okay. I look oh, away for a second. This is getting... Right. All right, so Pommel's This is right. getting awkward. This will put him in range for the lancing, so... I mean, yeah, but... Is it Oof. Worth? It's going to be hurt for Garnito, I think. Yeah, is this worth... Oh, this is disaster. Oh, no, no, no. He doesn't move yeah. back. He doesn't move back. Well, he still takes one to life. Oh, this is disastrous, actually. He will take like two the... from life. Oh, he doesn't move back? No, that was from the effect of the pommel strike. Oh, pommel thrust. Pommel thrust, yeah. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. Wait, why is he move back twice? No, no, no. Yeah. It's idea, it's idea. 
We're not, it's not. But yeah, that's actually really bad for Gekido. Oh my gosh. Yep. Yeah. Trades. This, this is like the first time that like I've really seen reactions from Sinai actually worth a damn. That was not worth for Gekido. I feel like you should have reshuffled there. I think the reshuffle was better. Yeah, Gagnito's like, wait, I'm supposed to be the one reacting in this matchup. <laughs> oh, this is, but I mean, uh, he gets spreading palms next turn, right? I mean, oh no, he needs to have full seeds, right? He doesn't have to. You can you can oh. opt to grow, do less growth than five. It's just five is the max. All right. Uh, not a great hand from Shen here. But, I mean, he just what a twos and just says whatever. I mean, a twos fine. Just burn a vigor and hold on to everything else, right? Maybe discard out class. Vivacity is not super oh, useful. Oh, just focus twice. <laughs> eh, there's no need to. I mean, he can focus but twice. But his silent breaker results, I guess. And I don't know. It doesn't seem worth. I think you yeah. should start prepping for a rhythmic arc. I mean, silent icebreaker is like good, but like he's in control of the matchup. I mean, I don't think you necessarily need to just permanently like keep icebreaker research. Yeah, but he's sitting on. Uh... Uranami Storm, too, if he needs it. Yeah, he just A2s. Yeah, I like this. <sighs> awkward, awkward, awkward. He needs to find, he needs to grow. And he needs to get spreading problems. And he needs to kill shit. Yeah, yeah. I actually really like the, the, the way Shen's been playing. It's very clever. Uh, basically, using the reactions to his attacks versus so he doesn't have to play around reactions. It's a very good gameplay. Ganito, I feel playing a little uncharacteristically sloppy, in my opinion. Maybe it's just the morning. I'd be playing sloppy at this point, too, but I would never agree to playing at 10 in the morning, so. Oh, lucky you don't get matched up to Shen, then. I got mad. Yeah, he's the one who sent me the losers. <laughs> Were you playing, play it? Were you playing it at with... Happy Time? No. Yeah. I had a sinus infection and tonsillitis. So. Oh, okay, okay. Circumstances were bad. The timing was what it was. <laughs> yeah. yeah, the time was midnight. That was fine. But tonsillitis and a sinus infection was not good. I reverse mold when I played him. I was very sad. Okay, the one, the one seed multiflora. Pog. So it stopped your opponent from advancing, you said? The first time they advanced in a turn. It adds another token from shadow to distance. Although the first time they move tokens yeah. from distance, so that's even more specific. So let's see what I should do here. Uh, this is getting really awkward now. Um, I think, is he just thinking about playing Art of Drawing? I don't think it's bad. No, he is. It is sort of bad. Vivacity, then what? This doesn't work. Um, no. No, uh, yeah, awkward. I don't know. He could just—he's just thinking about playing art of drawing here. I don't think it's terrible. Um, unless his hand's super clunky. Um, he's probably gonna like. Oh well, the art of drawing. Well, actually, this is a little messy, right? Because then he's gonna reshuffle the two cards. So I guess that's his problem. But all of his other cards are like stupidly useless. So, I mean, he could um start doing weird stuff. He could break away. Vivacity, Swing Rush, it's not awful, it's not great. Uh, oh, well, this works as well. This probably makes more sense. Yeah, just build towards Rhythmic Art. Yeah, I like it. Yeah, yeah, this is better, right? Yeah, this is better. Because, like, yeah, you play the Swing Rush, but it's not ideated, and you're not going to get any damage off of it this turn. Um, it could be a mind game, though, with Brandish, I guess. Um, because if you had Swing Rush and then Brandish, it could be two to life. So maybe Gagnino just takes it to life, but that's, you know, you're kind of guessing. Which, I mean, it's not super good to guess whether or not your opponent takes it to life. I don't, if you take I it to think, Aura, though, it's not too I don't think Gagnito is terribly worried about Brandish, especially with the Vivacity not being played yet. But, oh, Vivacity can't even target Brandish. What am I talking about? No, I'm saying Vivacity, Brandish. Vivacity is a Swing Rush, then Brandish. Yeah, but he has reactions that can cover the uh, the brandish, so he's not worried about brandish. Oh yeah, he does have two vigor in them. Is that a polite return? Or is that a glancing strike? It's a polite return and a pommel thrust, both uh, of which would oh, yeah, stop both. brandish. Yeah. Oh well, I guess that makes sense as well. Yeah. Okay. Sure. 
Can you just take back his action? No? So you I focus? I think that was a focus and then a, a recovery. He goes for it anyway. Yeah. Oh yeah, increasing the range. Cause... That's good. Oh, interesting. Wait, so what did he do? I'm a little confused. Um, he focused... Resolve? He discarded Art of Drawing to focus, then he recovered by Vigor, then he played Vivacity to regain a Vigor and increase the range of Swing Rush. I think. Okay. I feel like there's also a Shadow Step in there, or Master Step in there. Somewhere. As long as they're tight. Uh, I missed it. Because I know he focused. I mean, it looks like he focused... Broke away, resolve. I, don't know, I feel like he did a lot of stuff. I don't know. But... I'm going to end in R3 here. Not super sure why. I'm not exactly sure what it plays around. But um... Um, Well, it plays around the glancing strike slightly. Especially with uh, Dead Needle only having one aura. Like, is, it, is playing around glancing at R3 better than playing around at R2? I don't get it. What's going to happen at R2? Sorry. I mean, nothing. <laughs> that's uh, that's kind of the point, isn't it? No, all of it, the other attacks, except for, I think, like... Well, see, so now we can pummel the rest, right? Yeah, but you can do that. At R. No, you can do that at R2. You can do polite return at R2. You can do polite return at R3, too, right? Yep, 2 to 4. So it doesn't really make a difference, yeah. so I don't know why you would bother. Well, I mean, he gets an extra aura. <laughs> if he advances, I'm saying, to R2. Oh, wait, he couldn't advance. Never mind. That's why. Because of the multiplayer throughout. Yep. Yeah, there we go. That makes more sense. Is, that, is he thinking about taking this to life? Really? Uh, all of his seeds aren't sprouted, so that's still a 2 1. And there's no okay. enhancement with the seed token on it, but that, that could change. So, like, the 3 2 could be coming out on this turn. But. Playing all the cards. So the Megumi passive is whenever you play a non Megumi enhancement, you grow. Whenever you play any enhancement, you grow. You sprout. Oh, okay. Oh, okay. Let's see if you can open up from a rhythmic arc. Um. No, because he has played. Ooh, right. Arter Drawing. But then he play returns. Ah, nasty turn. Uh, is he going to get baited into the Art of Drawing? And is he going get, to get it politely returned? It is a pretty clean looking Art of Drawing, except for your opponent being at two bigger in Big Tokyo. With a card in hand. And enough player to Mortal Flower. Yeah, that makes sense. Uh, a lot of patience. Good. Showing good um, patience from Shen. It's very good. A little awkward with the outclass, but I think it'll come into play when he um, when the um, spreading palm comes into play. So, so you got Flail and Fresh. When does that resurge, by the way? Is 1-1? One, one? Um, when there are no sprouted seed tokens in his field. Oh, so the research is after he's spreading palms. Okay. Yep, or whenever you put the mole into your enhancements. Here comes spreading palm. Oh, man. Oh, you get to growth? You have to growth it. Oh, uh, well, I mean... Wait, where did, how did he get that last seed token? Because he played an enhancement. Grow. His spreading palm uh, enhancement, so he gets the last one. Oh, it triggers before. Pog. All right, and now we're in the danger zone. Wee you, wee you. Are they consider uh, is that like a four three or something? I guess either way he would go would be oh. a three two. Yeah, three two. I think or no. This three or less damage or no, if he played the other one, it would be a uh, it would be a four three, but I don't think it has a range that wants to work with this turn. 
Because Thresh is a 4 to 5 range. Yeah, so this is like kind of the true test. I think if Shen if Shen can get out of this like pretty cleanly, then I think um he just wins, right? Because Gagnito kind of kind of burns out a little bit um after the spreading palm. So it looks like he's gonna have to get a lot of work done here. And depending um, on Shen's draw, he might even be able to come very close to lethaling next turn. He's got rhythmic arc flare already, so. He takes us to aura, right? Um, well, I think so because right? you can kind of build into your out class that way to protect you from follow ups. But and try and get idea up so you can more likely draw lethal next turn, right? Also, something we're thinking about. I'm sure Shen thought about this. But what would you think about um? Him taking the two life, forcing Gagnito to at least spend one of or two of his figure to go to five to respect final blow. Mm. I'm sure he thought about it because then, like, because now you're almost certain he has play return at this point, right? So now this makes your turn a little bit more awkward. It is interesting that Gagnito uh, dropped himself out of Immortal Flower safety here too. Eh, I mean, oh yeah, he would have, no, play return, no, 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 yeah, he could have just lost here, uh, he needs not respecting a Sugikage crush, that would do it. Rhythmic R, oh no, not Rhythmic R. Oh okay. yeah, that was a 3-2, that's good, good on Shen for building the aura against that. Yeah. Ooh, the feels must feels pretty bad if you're Shen. If you would have had Suga Kage crush here, I'm sure he's a little bit disappointed. But for now, that one. now he's got cut down in rhythmic arc. So, oh, is that game? Oh, is that, that's game. I no, think, wait. What I think order? that might be game, but the order matters because you can build into Immortal Flower and cancel some of those attacks. One one. Yeah, he rhythmic arcs first every time. You read the card first every time. Because it's 1 1, 2 2, 1 1. Wait, right? I, hey, do I have the order? Well, wrong? the 1 1 is going to go and hit Aura, but that's going to happen every time, probably. So, yeah, I think Rhythmic Arc first would be better. Because now he can Immortal Flower the 2 2. If he takes the 1 1 to life, yeah, he can do the. Uh, I think he's taking two life from the Parkers. I think Shen. What? A lot. Shen is playing playing around that possibility. It seems like Shen is too good. He just, I do not have the patience for that move shit. That would have rhythmic arced him out of his mind. I mean, <laughs> I probably would have. I'm also, not given wrong. given how poorly I've played in the past. <laughs> it's a lot of. Wait, let me just get my opponent down to one life and assume nothing bad will happen. A lot of respect, uh, a lot of um, respect and control coming out from Shen. You can definitely tell he definitely is not one to pull the trigger very carefully. Just kind of interesting, playing considering I'd say he's playing more um, aggressive characters. Yeah, and he's got to be thinking about any game quickly with spreading palm on the table. Uh, what is what's the range on that? Four or five. So uh, I know a, where he's going. This is a four three he's dropping going here. North. So he's going north. He can't even storm this. He's going north. He's just going up. Right? Oh, yeah, he can outclass it. We are going north. Oh, outclass finally showing itself. Yeah, that's what I said. It's going to become more valuable during spreading palms. Something I figured would happen. Oh, no. Shen's too good. That hurts like a polite return. Oh, and he's sitting at zero aura. That's rough. Um, 
Oh, disaster. Wait, so he breaks away, retreats. Yeah, this is game. He breaks like away 90%. and just does a no reaction swing rush, right? Yeah, I like that plan more. He gets still immortal flower it though, yeah. So he stops Ow. one. He stops both. Oh, attacks. no reactions normal. Yep. So now he just gets rhythmic art. By a backup of one, because Shen doesn't have Play to worry about anything. This card power, yeah. Play return doesn't stop specials either, so. Not special. Uh, really, I think. Well, oh, yeah. can stop. It doesn't matter though. Art. Yeah, I can stop with Yeah. Well, not. not oh, you're right. Not you're right. It's lost not a special a tournament attack. To that. I lost the tournament match to that. It's just a regular <laughs> attack generated special. by a special action. Okay. Boo shit. Good catch there. <sighs> Calculating everything. Running over the numbers. Yeah, he, what he Making would sure hate he to lethal. see here would be the pommel thrust at range 4. Pommel thrust in his discard pile? No. Well, Unlocked. Yeah, no, he's got one card in his played pile and the rest is in his deck in hand, so it, he could have anything. Do it, Chen. Do it for the people. Okay, so here's the question, right? This is also the age-old question. If he has Pummel Thrust, do I ever win this game? It's a very hard question, and I'm sure it's one that Shen is thinking about. Um, and... I mean, uh, well, the, uh, hold on. So he hits for three life, though, regardless, right? Even with Pummel Thrust in play. Sure. Oh, wait, no, because Pummel Thrust is a 2-2. Because of Spreading Palm. That would be a disaster. <laughs> but you have to yeah. think, do I win this game if I don't, though? If he has Pommel Thrust, do I ever win this game? And I don't know what the answer is, but I'm just saying it's something he's probably thinking about. Personally, do it, yeah, do it. he's I doing would, it for the people! I would play the oh odds here. God, you, gotta, you gotta hope that he doesn't Shed. have it. Shed for the people! Here we go. Uh, Japan number one. <laughs> Wow. <laughs> wow. I'm impressed. <laughs> He's got the extra for another 1-1 one, one on top. Because if the people have... Uh,